Everyone's probably wondering why you're wearing a mustache and why I'm dressed as a cop, so I think we should tell them. Mm -hmm. It's time for our Coen Brothers movie night. Raising Arizona. Natasha and I have decided to combine the movie's obsession with babies with the culinary cuisine of the American Southwest. We're gonna watch us a movie. Chow down on a delicious face. We're also going to decorate the dining room. Mustache, you gotta go. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natasha. And I'm Juliana. Come and watch us make some healthy eats. Inspired by our favorite movies. Welcome to Cinema and Spice. Hey, have you ever thought about stealing a baby? Well, the Coen brothers did in 1987 in the comedy Raising Arizona. Nick Cage and Holly Hunter play a trailer park couple who can't conceive. So they decide to steal a baby from their neighbors. Might I say you look lovely with a mustache? Oh, why, thank you, <laughs> darling. So what are we going to be making tonight? We're gonna start off our night with a vegan ceviche. It's awesome, so healthy and fresh. Yeah, just like we like it. A southwestern stacked salad. It's gonna be a tower of salad. Yes, it will. Mm. Then we're gonna have a spicy tortilla soup. Tortilla soup, yummy. And a jalapeno goat cheese quesadilla. Do we cheers? Like always. A secret margarita. And we're serving the mint ceviche. It's gonna yummy. put hair on a baby's chest. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by a dairy free chocolate pudding that has Mexican spicy chocolate. Also, we're going to decorate our dining room. Yeah! First, we're gonna do the ceviche. Very simple dish. I took some tofu mm. and very lightly fried it. Added some lime, followed by peppers. And can I help? What's this? Mm -hmm. That is our tomato and onion mixture. We're going to do some cucumbers. It's awesome, it's so healthy and fresh. Yeah, just like we like it. Mix it all together. I'll start mixing, and what are you going to add? Some salt, okay. some pepper, some agave, some olive oil after that. And then we're going to add some cilantro. Okay. And some jalapenos if you want to pop some of those in there. Ooh, spicy. Big kid flavors, baby size. <laughs> okay, so is this almost done? Yeah, it is. Let's throw it in our goblet. This is probably fancier food than our characters would be eating. Yeah, but so delicious. I think we make hot dogs and french fries. <laughs> Next time on Cinnamon Spice. I wonder if it's hard to eat with a mustache. I think it will be. I'm anticipating some issues here. Perfect. There we go. Let's try it out. Mmm. Yeah? I really like the raw garlic. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mustache has got to go. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Trivia time. For all you Nick Cage fans out there, what's his real last name? Well, I hope you're excited because we're going to make a Southwestern salad like you've never seen one before. Okay, what do we do first? First, we're going to start off with the beans. Yummy. Then we're going to add some carrots. And instead of doing a dressing, I thought it would be fun if we put some different spices in between each layer. Oh. So let's add some salt and pepper here. Okay. In between these layers, we'll add a layer of green apple. Yummy. And followed by some agave. It's gonna be a tower of salad. Yes, it will. Layer of tomato, followed by a little bit of that cumin right there. Cumin. Okay. Lovely. Then we'll do some jicama, garlic, and cucumber. Get another squish going. I'm gonna drain off some of this liquid. You seem like a, a stacked salad professional. Oh, thanks. Been practicing my stacked salads. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some jalapenos. A little bit of this star anise here. Ta-da! Smash it all down. The secret trick, the saran wrap. And add a little bit of lime at the end here. Okay. Are you ready? Are you scared? Ta-da! Wow! To we'll garnish it, we have some green onions, cilantro, fresh avocado. And I lost my hat. I wonder if anyone's wondering, but and I'm not meant to be in law enforcement. All ready to be devoured. And we are done with our Southwestern stacked salad. Trivia time. How old was Joel Cohen when he made his first film? Are you ready to make a quesadilla? I'm so ready. So we're gonna make a southwestern quesadilla here. All right. And we're gonna do a raw goat cheese. Earlier today we sauteed some onions, some garlic, corn, and mm. all mixed together. Go oh, ahead. I need to cut the jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Add a little jalapeno. All right. And you roasted this jalapeno, right? Yes, slow roast it in the oven. You can put it in about 300 degrees and just let it sit for about an hour in a little change. olive oil. It will sizzle, but do not fear. It's kind of fun. Did you know that the Coen brothers specifically wrote Holly Hunter's part for her? Oh, wow. That's why she what was a so lucky perfect. girl. I know. Maybe yes. someday someone will write parts for us. Well, we are. Well, exactly. Right now. <laughs>
<laughs> so do you think it's done? It's gooey and cheesy and yummy and hot. Can I cut it? Please. Oh, it's really hot. Here. Can you do it? She's the professional. So this looks delicious. And what are we going to so put? So hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going to add some sour cream. Salsa. Perfect. I think part of the fun is burning your mouth on it, right? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Pink. I stole your sour cream. Mmm. It's delicious. It's really, really good. Trivia time. Nicolas Cage famously got offended by one particular thing on the Raising Arizona set. What was it? The recipe for our tortilla soup is on the website, so you can make okay. this exact same mixture at home. We put the chicken on the side, and we're going to pile all of the accoutrement on top. So we're going to start with tortilla strips. Oh, you're not starting with chicken. <laughs> start with the tortilla strips because you want them to soak in. Then, chicken! We only use organic chicken, mm -hmm. right? What's next? A little bit of homemade pepitas, which I roasted with a little bit of cumin, a little cayenne, a little salt, pepper, and olive oil. We made a vegan sour cream. It's made from tofu, lemon juice, olive oil, and a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. And you won't even know that you're not eating a real sour cream. Here we have a little bit of chive. A little bit of... Cilantro. Cilantro. Beautiful. Okay. And then... And some avocado to top it off. Perfect. I'm excited. Tortilla soup is one of my favorite soups. I think it's delicious. It's nice and comforting and warm, but we added a lot of fresh vegetables to ours, so it's a healthy version. Mmm. That's so good. Mm hmm Good job. Trivia time. How many minutes of Raising Arizona elapsed before you see the title of the film on screen? And now is the moment you've all been waiting for. <gasps> Secret cocktail time, and the cocktail's called the... Diptay! And why do we call it that, Juliana? Because in Raising Arizona, they are super worried about their baby getting diseases, so they get them a diptet, which is a diphtheria and... Tetanus. Tetanus shot, yes. And everyone's super worried about it in the movie, and it's really funny. Yeah. And they keep saying, diptet, diptet. Diptet. Since we're making an alcoholic drink, it also can cure you diseases and illnesses and woes. But S probably not diphtheria. Probably not. No. Hopefully you don't have that anyway. <laughs> so, and we're serving the mint sippy cups. What we start with is this delicious tequila that we have infused with jalapenos, lime, and oranges. oranges. You can infuse it anywhere from a couple days to a week. So then what we do is add in half a cup of any kind of orange liqueur, a little more than a fourth cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. We have some orange juice. I'm going to go ahead and start pouring stuff in here since we're running out of room. A fourth cup of lime juice. Shall we mixy? Well, let's add a little bit of agave as well, right, for some mm -hmm. sweetness. We don't like using cane sugar. Agave is a little bit easier on your system and makes you not feel that huge sugar rush. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> I'm really excited about the infused tequila because it gives it a really nice, spicy, citrusy, southwestern taste. Shall we do a toast? <laughs> Woo! Mm. It's gonna put hair on a baby's chest. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is coming with me to the dining room as I go decorate. Come visit me soon. All right. Bye, everyone. Trivia time. Can you name all five of the Arizona babies in the film? Mm. I have prepared a dairy-free chocolate pudding that has Yummy. lots of interesting Mexican spices in it. Cinnamon and nutmeg, a little bit of ginger, and then we have jalapenos and mm. also some red pepper flakes. Jalapenos and pudding? I know. You're isn't that cool? Wild, wild lady. Wild. And then we are going to take these little tiny ginger snap cookies and place them in just to give a nice little presentation. And then for our dinner party, we're serving them in baby food jars. We took out the baby food and froze it so we could use it for something else. Thankfully, it tastes better than baby food. Do you want to try it? Well, I'm just, yeah, I guess I'm guessing that it tastes better than baby food. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. And you said it's kind of spicy? Want it with a cookie? Ah! <laughs> Trivia time. 15 babies were used to play the five featured in the film. Why was one of them fired during filming? Hello everyone, welcome to our Southwestern themed dining room. We have a couple things that have made our dining room look a little bit more like we're in Arizona. We have some Native American artifacts. We have this shield here. We have a bull skull. We have a couple paws. <laughs> There's a baby in the house. <laughs> I brought some sunflower seeds that I put some Southwestern spices on for our guests to enjoy. Yay, and I like that they're in baby bottles. Mm -hmm. I want to show you the crap that we've done. Sure. So we took these little ceramic terracotta pots. I put everyone's name on each of them, and I decided to put Native American symbols. And this one's a rain cloud and means good prospect. We have teeny tiny forks and spoons. And as you already saw, we have 
the sippy cup. I'm so excited to show everyone I, I can know. Go. Let's go get ready for them and we'll see you back here soon. Bye. Trivia time. At the end of the film, what does Hyde dream that Nathan Jr. grows up to be? Well, thanks for watching our episode of Cinema and Spass. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Yes, and we have a word of advice. You probably shouldn't go stealing any babies. Mm-mm. <coughs>